25 years, 25 years is magic, 25 years, come on me, 25 years, 25 years is magic.
Definitely, today is a reason to celebrate because we are with our uh, Go for Growth winners. Congratulations, everyone, and welcome to our Go for Go Growth training. <laughs> uh, my name is Joyce Romagnosa. I'm the sales manager for USANA Philippines. And with me is our sales manager of Besides Mindanao, Mitch Arcansalin. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. And kami, kami po ang magiging um, host ninyo for this afternoon. And hindi lang po kami no, ang, ang behind this training, but we also have the full force of the sales and marketing team um, in this call as well. So um, very exciting, no, Sis Mitch, uh, today because even if we cannot gather uh, physically, kahit na uh, hindi pa pwede no, na mag-training ng face-to-face, -face, we still have the chance to um, learn and be be part of this uh, Go for Grow training. Yes, I think this is one of the most important naman talaga when we, uh, when we qualify for this Go for Growth in Boracay, not only with the incentive trip no, that we're going to uh, Boracay in the next few months or in the next few weeks, but then again, the learnings will always be there, no? And most especially, we have really uh, prepared no, a guest speaker for everyone where you can really um, get a lot of um, learnings from this afternoon and from our speaker. Yes, yeah, so there are still people uh, logging in, no? But um, of course, before that, let me just um, me, uh, tell you the agenda no, this afternoon. Um, we will be having, of course, our training with our brand ambassador. You'll, you'll get to know him uh, better later. And uh, we will also be um, announcing no, the winners at the end of the presentation. Para naman, di ba, you can screenshot, take a screenshot, pwede nyo rin i-video yung inyong mga monitor, di ba, na recognize kayo sa ating event this afternoon. And of course, um, after that, we'll be having some announcements for our trip to Boracay this June. So, a very... Ramdam niyo po ba excitement? <laughs> Parang mas excited pa ako sa mga winners, no? But anyway, uh -huh. if ever kasi this is the first, no, of uh, physical gathering ng USANA Philippines. So, we're really very uh, excited and looking forward to this event. So, 
siguro naman si Smith no pwede na nating ipakilala yung yung tao na talagang um, dapat mm-hmm. na mag-congratulate sa inyo and who's a better person to do that no than our uh, ever supportive general manager so please welcome our general manager Miss Cherry MP Yay! Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Joyce, and thank you, Mitch. Wow, over. Uh, nako asa na kaya yung iba because we are actually expecting uh over 200 people to be in this call uh this afternoon. So um, you are all Go for Growth winners. Last year, po, we have about over 200 people who qualified for the Asia Pacific Growth Incentive. So 200 associate chips, pala, kaya hindi lang people, kasi times to paya, de ba? And then um, sa Go for Growth, po, you are over 200 then, about 220 qualifiers naman for the Go for Growth Boracay. So that means. Lahat yung nag-grow ng 8,000 up until up up to 50 ano up to what um 8,000 minimum of 8,000 pataas you are all total of 400 associate ships so kaya hindi na tayo magtataka why um Yusana Philippines has registered over 50% growth last year kaya lang lagi ko ngang sinasabi because we are already in the middle of almost in the middle of the year that um our past glory of last year ay tapos na okay kasi ano na tatayo tapos na yung 2020 but we are not going to um let the efforts that you have done um uh, in 2020 na mabaliwala lang syempre importante yan sa atin in a normal situation and ideal situation dapat nandoon na tayo sa barakay di ba ngayon and we are you know um meron na tayong um, at least of meet and greet, and you are already networking with uh, the fellow achievers that you have uh, in this call, those who have already qualified. But again, uh, with all that's happening, uh, talagang hindi lang pa siya time to happen ngayong May na to. But, di ba, in a few weeks, sabi nga ni Joyce, uh, for those who opted in for the trip, we, were, we are still, hopefully, and God willing, we are still going to be able to make it. But but kahit kasi nag pay out ka, we would also want to make sure that you are not missing out, di ba, on a special training like this. Especially, yung trainer natin is one of my favorite, hindi ko sinasabi dahil hindi dito lang siya, I'm one of my most favorite person na trainer talaga ng uh, nagtitrain sa Yusana. Because uh, talagang yung wisdom niya and very practical uh, information that pwedeng-pwede nating i-apply. Now, for 2021, Alaman niyo na, di ba, scaling new heights tayo. But in the coming we forum, we are going to talk about another theme, okay, for the year, which is um, break the barrier, okay? Want it to be an action word, okay? Instead of breaking barriers, we are going to break the barriers. And I'm very sure mo- Okay, kahit ako, I'm not an exception here, that we have all a lot of barriers to break, okay, in 2021. And breaking barriers uh, that will lead to the growth for 2021 will require a lot of resilience from all of us. I'm sure you will agree um, with that. Because um, and dami, di ba? Ang dami natin napagdaanan uh, in terms of... Eh, uh, maybe problems with um, your business, maybe problems with um, uh, health issues, or maybe um, problems with grief or loss of family, but we are all still here uh, this afternoon. But the barrier that I would want everyone uh, for us to break is the barrier of the lack of motivation uh, to continue growing. Because um, sabi ko nga, Villasana Philippines has been around for 12 years and there was never a year that we have not grown. And 2021 will not be an exception for that. Okay, We are going to grow okay, ngayong year na to. I hope that you are all with us in that journey because... Um, though we are growing still at almost 30% versus last year, I would want everyone to be a part of that journey for us to be continue to hold on to that um, momentum that we have already started for 2021. So I call for you to um, work on resilience and um, read more about uh, what it can do for us. How can we better transform ourselves? I am really uh, in the middle of reading a book right now, the one that was um, written by Sheryl Sandberg and um, 
uh, Adam Grant of about uh, option B. Okay, it is about really growing resilience. So another thing is that uh, again, lack of resilience or break the barrier of lack of motivation and break the barrier of rest resting on your laurels. Ano bang ibig ko sabihin don? Okay, yung sabi nyo, eh, nag-grow naman ako last year eh. Okay lang na hindi mag-grow ngayon kasi every other year ang growth. <laughs> okay, siya ang hindi ganoon, di ba? Parang napagod sa kaka-grow, okay. So do not rest on your laurels. 2021 would be another um, breaking through. Okay, ole, okay. Um, another growth year for all of you who are here. And I hope that you are all going to be again uh, a part of our, it's either the Greece or Dapat Greece na kayo kasi go for growth na kayo ngayon. Eh. Hindi na kayo pang Palawan levels, di ba? Doon na kayo sa Greece na tayo pupunta uh, for this year. So please um, check on your, sinabi ko ta last time, when I um, uh, did a uh, talk about uh, the the semestral, uh, trimestral growth, that uh, it is very important to always um, go back to the fundamentals of your business and that you have to be always tracking your progress. Okay, again, go back to the fundamentals, go to track your progress, and then work on your uh, motivation again and work on your goals for 2021. So um, I'm just gonna be here again. Congratulations to all of you. Um, you're all big support of Yusana Philippines and I am just, just really proud GM here to have all of you here on this call. Congratulations, everyone, and have a good afternoon. Thank you, Ma'am Cherry. And wag po kayo magalala, Ma'am Cherry, because as I was browsing to our attendees this afternoon, no, all the awardees, some of them have already ranked advanced to another level, two levels Saban. up. No? Hindi so, sila na, ano, nag-rest ng laurels nila. Talagang up, up, and away. <laughs> Yes, and doon sa mga hindi pa po nakatanggap ng memo, no? please, marami pa po tayong time and uh, maba pa po yung taon. Okay. May pa lang naman, marami pang weeks remaining. Okay, for the, for the, kaya lang di ba pagka naging half na ng year, mahirap nang bumangon. Kaya ba yun na tayo pag bumangon? Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Mitch. Bye. Alright. Thank you, Ma'am Cherry. And of course, syempre, this afternoon, no, um, we would want also uh, to give justice dun sa ating speaker this afternoon um, to talk about uh, leading a diverse or le leading um, uh, the art of building teams through diversity and adversity. So um, let us call on our corporate pharmacist, si Marielle Perile, to introduce our speaker this afternoon. Thank you so much, Ms. Joyce, and congratulations everyone for being here. Hindi ko na to patatagalin pa kasi I know you're all very excited to hear our speaker this afternoon. So he is the proud Filipino winner of the Heat Asian reality TV show, The Apprentice Asia. Born and raised in Manila, he is a multi-awarded marketer and HR professional with over 10 years of experience in Southeast Asia. Dubbed as a Asia's, Asia's millennial guru, he is Asia's leading motivational speaker on topics involving leadership, talent of development, Gen Y workers, and office productivity. He is the author of three best-selling motivational books, From Great to Great, back in 2015, Fast Forward in 2017, and Single, Taken, or Building You My Empire in 2019, which offers career tips, uh, career tips and advice for aspiring corporate millennials. By record, he is the only Filipino author today able to penetrate the Southeast Asian markets of Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, and Indonesia as a certified best-selling author. He is today the founder and managing director of his marketing consultancy firm, the JY Consultancy and Ventures, which offers marketing and talent optimization services to startups and Fortune 500 companies in Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Asia's worldwide motivational and marketing speaker, Jonathan Yabut. Thank you. Magandang hapon sa inyo. Thank you, Marielle, for the kind introduction. Good afternoon. Bye. It's been a while. I haven't seen you guys for quite a while. So good afternoon, everyone. May I please ask for an exclamation mark just so we can energize the chat box this afternoon. More exclamation marks means more energy. All right. And could you also please type while you're typing that Please type which part of the Philippines or the world are you typing from? I would like to visualize. Ang kayo nang gagaling? 
And while you're guys typing that, by the way, call out ko lang ah, na insecure ako bigla sa aking virtual background because I love the virtual background of Cherry. Yung gold, my God, that matches so much your hair. I love it. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for the energy as well. All right, so I got forks from Iligan. Wow, Bulacan, Davao, Kalamba, Bulacan. Akurong City, Sultan, Kudarat. Thank you, Helena, for sharing that. Laguna, Kawit, Cavite. Bahalo-halo tayo all around the Philippines. Makati, Laguna, Cavite. Yung iba sumisigaw pa parang Miss Universe. Thank you. Uh, Roxanne says, from Negros, but currently in Manila. Mandaluyong, Labas. Ano, meron bang Mandaluyong loob? Kaya ganon. Albay, Malaysia. Uh, Cebu, Bulacan, Bacolod. Thank you very much. All right. We got lots of leaders and managers in the room. We got lots of achievers in the room. I'd also like to know, could you please type, right now in your teams, I want to see lang a number. How many, te- how many people are you managing in your teams? Could you please type? I'm sure it's going to be a different number for all of us, but just, well, I just want to have an idea. Could you please type, how many people currently are you managing in your teams? Give me a number. Five, ten, twenty. All right, so I got some ten. Thank you. Prince also says ten. How about the rest? Very good. It doesn't matter ko anong number, ha? I just want to have an idea. And the reason why I'm asking that is because, please take note, the bigger your teams are, the more diverse the personalities are, right? This is the reason why our topic for today is about the art of building teams through diversity and adversity. So Gab says 25, Chris and Diana has 55, Lindsay 15, okay, Zaldi has seven, Glenn has 25, okay? Again, it doesn't matter what your number is. We're gonna talk about today, given the different personalities of people, iba-ibang age, iba-ibang background, iba-ibang culture, iba-ibang communication style, how do we as leaders find ways to strike a balance and compromise against all of those personalities? That's going to be our topic for today's session. If it's your first time to engage with us, quick introduction about our company. This is JY Consultancy and Ventures. We have been a proud partner of USANA for many years now for being part of your organizational behavior. So whether it be about public speaking, business writing, leadership, how to manage the millennials, we take pride for catering to various organizations all around the world. These are some of the clients that we have engaged over 15 countries since 2013. And of course, this afternoon, I would like to excite all of you because I'll be giving away some prizes. Can I get a letter P if you're ready for some prizes, some freebies? What I will do is that I will be asking some questions along the way. These are visual puzzles that you have to answer just so we can chill in the middle of the session. The fastest fingers who are going to answer my question correctly, I will be choosing five winners this afternoon who can attend our upcoming session, Boost Your Confidence. It's a two-hour online bootcamp on public speaking and business writing happening already next week, May 29, from 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. The ticket is worth 1,000 pesos, but for today, I will be choosing five people. And if you happen to be not available, okay lang yan, you can transfer the tickets to your direct reports, right? To your teammates or to your loved ones or friends or kamag-anak whatever it is that you would want uh, to share your blessings with. I'm also going to give away as another prize our best-selling books in digital formats to our participants. So speed stay tuned later on. We're going to give away those books as well. All you need to do, and I will give some instructions later, is you have to join our Viber community. Can I get a letter V who here has a Viber account? Dapat may Viber account tayo ha. In the time of pandemic, the best way to remotely engage our customers is to be available in all platforms, right? And of course, Viber is also part of that. Thank you. So please join our Viber community. You have to answer the questions via our Viber community later. We will give you out some instructions. So please stay tuned with that. Let's get to business. I'm going to be asking three things in our session. Number one, keep the chat box as noisy and as active as much as you can. Number two, if I ask some questions in uh, in the form of a poll, please type your answers, letter A, letter B, or letter C. And then finally, number three, we're going to be asking, we're going to be doing a quick Q&A. Okay? Please take advantage of that because it's very rare that I get to see you in our training sessions. So first question is this. Please type your answer in the chat box. How do you feel these days? And I want 120% honesty. Please take note. The key to self-improvement starts with self-awareness. 
So I'm seeing a lot of letter D, some letter C also. If you feel letter B, anxious and worried, that is totally fine. Normal lang po na maging anxious and worried. The goal, however, is that apart from acknowledging the feeling, you are doing something about it. That's the ultimate goal, right? So lots of letter D. Oh, see si James now, letter B and letter D. That's all. I'm on the same boat, you know? Today's world is about unpredictability. The goal is to manage that unpredictability by achieving a level of control. Optimism, therefore, is also needed for you to have that level of control. So thank you for, ask, for answering that question. Speaking of diversity, ito na yung aking unang tanong. Could you please type in the chat box, which films or TV series from which country have you seen in the past 60 days? Pakisagot nga. I just want to see how varied your tastes are. And are you the type of person who's open-minded to consider other cultures? Could you please type? Okay, so I see a lot of letter A, madaliyan, because if you're watching Netflix alone, and daming American TV series. So letter E, si Lawrence, so UK. Letter B, Korean. I'm a big fan of Korean novella also. Ano bang pinapanood nyo? Baki, type nga sa chat box if you can recommend something for me for Netflix. I see a lot of, oh, letter E, Empress Kida, sabi ni Chris and Diana. Okay, I see also letter F, Japanese. Oh, startup. Yes, I think a lot of our USANA folks can relate to startup. Nakaka-relate ba kayo? It's like building your own business, right? And it's also, if you, for me, the TV series Startup is all about harnessing networks. That is my key takeaway from that TV series. That without tapping opportunities and networks around you, you're only as good as your talent. But talent is going to be raw if you don't manage your networks also, right? New Amsterdam, I've seen three episodes so far. I am also enjoying it. So thank you for sharing that. Question number two, let's talk about food because I haven't eaten lunch yet at gutom na ako. But I want to ask the question, in the past 30 days, what cuisine have you tasted? Could you please type? So Japanese is also my favorite. That's why I place it there so umpisa. How about letter C, Korean also? Letter E, American, of course. It's part of our staple diet as a Filipino. Hamburgers, fries, right? Lahat ng junk food, isama mo na. Letter D, okay, Indian is also good. A, D, and C, si Rolando Dizon. A, C, E, and F, uh, Joshua Noel Cagas. Thank you also for sharing. Very good. So why am I asking these things? I'm asking it because when you look at psychological research, it's proven that, number one, the more languages that you know, the, more sm the smarter you likely are and the more open-minded you are when it comes to ideas of other people. That's because you understand that different languages offer different concepts. The same thing also happens when you're open-minded to watch other TV series. You get to understand that there is a defini different definition of respect in the Japanese culture or Korean culture. If you watch Thai films, for example, you understand that they have a very unique approach when it comes to horror films. Right? Same thing also with food. The more open-minded you are with tasting different types of food, the more you appreciate art, the more you appreciate different types of flavors, the more you also are risk lover. Risk lover meaning even if you don't know what's going to happen next, you tell yourself that I will get through it and I will be able to manage it. This is also the reason why the more well-traveled you are, the more you appreciate that you are just a small speck of dust versus the so big universe. Akala mo ang galing-galing mo na, akala mo ang laki-laki mo na, akala mo ikaw na ang pinaka of that highest level. And then you meet someone who will tell it to your face, I'm sorry, your ceiling is just my floor as of the moment. This is our definition of diversity. And speaking of diversity, diversity in a corporate sense, right? So I want to give you the textbook definition of it before we give to the practical definition. is the strategic representation of different points of view and expertise that leads to the optimal decision-making in favor of business. Meaning, strategic, you carefully select and curate because you know that my way isn't the only way. Way. Could you please type that in the chat box? If you attended my leadership session last year in 2020, this is one of my key takeaway in our session. As a great leader, I embrace the fact that many people have their own ways of accomplishing the same thing. And so my way is not the only way. No matter how high my position is, no matter how intelligent I am, there is always going to be a space for improvement because the biggest room in the world is also the room for improvement. That's diversity. So question, 
On a scale of 1 to 10, without having established diversity yet in our session, 10 is the highest. Do you embrace diversity of people in your leadership style? Could you please give me a ranking from 1 to 10? 10 being the highest, huh? so you have to give me a lower number because that means you don't have any more space for improvement. If you give me a number 10, that's also fine. Maybe you have to improve your scale from 10 to 20, right? Kung punong puno ka na. So I'm looking at the chat box right now. So halo-halo tayo. Meron tayong number six. Meron tayong seven. That's good. The key to self-improvement is self-awareness. Identifying what are the gaps that you need to fill in. Here's the problem. When we talk about the word diversity, we think about the stereotypes. The Hollywood stereotype. When you see diversity, ang unating iniisip, religion, ethnicity, gender, and age. And these are true. These are classic definitions for diversity. But I'd like to remind everyone, which is going to be the focus of my talk, this is not the only diversity that we have to understand as leaders. Right? Can I get an exclamation mark if we are embracing this? And if you are, could you also please type in the chat box, what are the other types of diversity that you think we should also explore and embrace as leaders? Sige nga, could you please type, Diversity in terms of what? I would love to know. Apart from religion, ethnicity, gender, age, ano pa ang ibang klase? So personality, thank you Astrid. Uh, values also, mental health, very good. How people cope in times of challenges. Careers, career options, right? Flexibility, perspective, strategies, very good. So the other definition of diversity that I want to talk about in this session is not just about this four. It's also about the following, the thinking style and the learning style of the person, the technological comfort of the person, right? In the time of pandemic, if the person is not comfortable being tech savvy, aba, mahihirapan niya sa pagbebenta, especially when a lot of the customers want to engage in contactless or cashless transactions. Another one is communication style. Does the person confront or is the person more driven by body language? And so if that is challenging in the time of COVID-19, how do you therefore get and extract information from others? And finally, number four, which I see here from Helena, emotional and adversity quotient, right? The ability to get through challenges and being able to be resilient mentally. I also like this answer from Rolando. I would love to add that in my slide. Purpose. We all are diverse. Why are you in USANA in the first place? Why are you engaging in this business, right? We all have different purpose and motivation. And so as a leader, your goal is to understand where that motivation is coming from. And basic to ha, non-negotiable. Before you recruit new members in your teams, you have to know the very motivation of why to join this great organization, right? By the way, there is a term for this. Ang tawag natin dito is what we call as cognitive diversity. Could you please type that in the chat box? Just so we have a commitment about the label and we remember it again. Cognitive diversity is when you say that people have unique approaches to a situation or a problem. It's when you accept the fact that people comprehend and learn through different ways. And we accept there are different ways of learning, comprehending, and communicating. This is what we call as cognitive diversity. I also want to remind everyone, before we go to the tips, please take note that even if the buzzword in this session is diversity, diversity is just the first steps. Siya po ang pinakamababaw na type na diversity na kinatin ma-achieve. We have even more. So the first level is diversity. In diversity, parang yang na-invite ako sa party Kahit iba ang aking kulay, kahit iba ang aking suot, kahit iba ang aking amoy, I am invited to the party because we celebrate others' differences. So team members come from different backgrounds. Pero mababaw lang yan. You are doing it for the paper. You are doing it for displaying. You are doing it for the quota. What we want is to graduate into the next level. We call it as inclusion. In inclusion, you did not only invite a different person to the party, but the person who was invited feels welcomed. They do not feel shy that they can dance in a party. Kumbaga, have you been in those parties where in-invite in ka ng kaibigan, ng best friend, ng kapitbahay mo 
sumama ka naman, pagdating mo sa party, lahat magkakakilala, ikaw lang ang walang kilala. And so what you do is that even if you are physically present in the party, you are mentally absent in it. Because you are in a corner, kunwari nagsiselfone, kunwari may ginagawa, but at the back of your mind, gusto mo nang umuwi. Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to that? If that is how a person feels in your group, there is absence of inclusion. My diversity, pero walang inclusion at the same time. So inclusion is when team members allow each other to suggest different ideas. Hindi lang pang display, right? Hindi lang pang quota. Meaning, oh, lima ang babae sa amin, ha? Oh, tatlo sa amin galing sa ibang city or province, ha? Or yung anim sa amin galing sa ibang university. You're not doing it because you want to brag about it. You're doing it because you mean it. Because you know that there is strength in differences. The last level, and that's the highest level of diversity, is what we call as belongingness. The person is not only there to contribute, the person feels that they are a member of a family. And then the other members say, Aba, I learned a new dance move from her while I was dancing with her in the party. You acknowledge the fact that how she is different is exactly is the reason why she is strong. The differences are what makes everyone in the team stronger. So team members embrace differences and use them to complement each other. So I want to throw and reflect for all of you, my dear friends from Yosana. Saang level na ba kayo sa inyong team? Sige nga, could you please type? Are you in letter D, diversity, I, inclusion, or letter B, belongingness? There's no right or wrong, ha? Be as honest as you can. If you think you are still in diversity, that's totally fine. You are acknowledging that you need to do something about it. Okay? Could you please type? D, diversity, I, inclusion, B, belongingness. Pwede rin gitna. You're in the middle of D and I. You're in the middle of I because you're on your way to letter B as well. So si Marie... Si Mara Kura says, I to B. Very good. So Chris also says, D to I. Okay, middle of I and B. Very good. Again, huh? the key to self-improvement is with self-awareness. And please take note, why is Jonathan so obsessed about measuring? Because please take note, my dear friends from Yosana, what can be measured can be improved. Could you please type that in the chat box for some commitment again? What can be measured can be improved. If you're not measuring in the middle of the month, how will you find out if you're ready to meet your sales? You have to keep score of your performance every now and then. What can be measured can be improved. The same thing also happens with diversity in our teams. Thank you for typing that in the chat box. May I please ask for an exclamation mark if we are learning something so far? Kung klaro na ba ang ating crash course on the Masterclass for Diversity? Right? Very good. Thank you. Having established that, Jonathan, I'm ready. How do I promote diversity in my leadership style? Could you please give me some next steps? Well, here are three tips that I would love you to apply immediately right after this session. Tip number one, please take note that the first step is change of mindset. To embrace diversity is to admit, we have to be humble to admit that we have unconscious biases hindi natin sinasadya na maging uh, bias with some people that we like or prefer, but we have to unearth and unpack those biases. So great leaders make a conscious effort to build an inclusive culture in their actions and language. What do I mean by this? Well, number one, do you acknowledge that as a leader, sa umpisa pa lang, it is very normal to be biased against people who are different to you? For example, it's scientifically proven outsiders in your departments and teams, someone from another social background, someone who was recruited from a different company. These people, when they enter the company, they do not easily speak up because nangangapa pa sila. They don't feel welcomed. And at the same time, they don't feel that they feel that they are being judged by everyone around them. And so if that is the case, what are you doing as a leader to help these people to speak up more? To help these people be introduced from one person to another? Because many times, they cannot do it on their own. And therefore, it's the leader who makes those connections. Can I get the letter O as an outsider if we embrace that? Very good. Thank you. One more. Position. 
people avoid conflict and confrontation with someone who holds more power in any organization. If you are the leader, if you are the manager, if you are the coach, people who are beneath you have a tendency to not speak up, have a tendency to not challenge you because they are afraid of being labeled for challenging authority. And they will also not ask questions because they are afraid na iisipin mo that they are not as intelligent as you, for example. So dun pa lang, meron na agad differences, meron na agad gap between the two of you, right? That's position. And finally, this one's classic. Let's look at age. The younger a person is, and we all know this anecdotally, the more that they hesitate to challenge the ideas of their elders and seniors, right? So dun pa lang, it is already stacked against their disadvantage. If you know that these things exist in your teams, what are you doing about it? Are you being proactive that in meetings, and here's my favorite part, if someone in the team is new, don't just ask people who has any questions. Could you please raise? Don't just ask it like that. Don't just ask it randomly. Call out the person. Can I call out Jonathan? By the way, he's a new member of our team. Jonathan, baka meron kang bagong ideas. Simple things like that, simple gestures like that makes the person feel that they are welcome and that their opinions is as important as those who have been in the organization for the longest time. Can I get an exclamation mark? Do we consider that? I hope we are. And sometimes, ha, kaya to unconscious bias because we take it for granted. Nakakalimutan natin because we have a lot of other things to do and we want to go for the normal route of leading an organization. Example number two, and let's talk about work-life balance. I believe that work-life balance is, letter A, enjoying life to the fullest after working hours, or letter B, inserting life moments in between work. Which one is your definition of work-life balance? Is it letter A, letter B? Walang gayahan, ha? You do what you want to say. Okay? So I see a lot of letter B. Meron ding letter A, Right? My answer here will be letter B. But does that mean that letter A is inferior to it? Not at all. Letter A is as equally valuable as letter B. It's a matter of preference. The point is, is the person able to deliver? And is the person happy with what they are doing in their lives? Therefore, for example, as a great leader, do you acknowledge that your definition of work-life balance can be different and therefore, your definition of time management can also be different. For example, let's look at the concept of uh, work-life balance according to generations. In a lot of studies, if you're a generation X, meaning 41 years old and up, or baby boomer, your definition of work-life is linear. You have your morning time, gigising ka na umaga, it's personal time. You go to work, you engage with your business, you have your lunch, you go to back to work, and then you have your personal life after during dinner time. That's a typical linear definition of work-life balance. However, if you're a Generation Y or Generation Z, your definition of work-life balance is different. For example, meron kang work, but in the middle, you can insert going for gym during lunchtime. In the middle of it, while working out, because you have already done your, some of your work, to check out ka sa Lazada because you want to shop for a bit, right? Or you can do a specific WhatsApp call or Facebook call with your friends and colleagues. Or for example, habang nag work ka in the middle of siesta, you want to take a break, you want to watch one episode of your favorite Netflix show during merienda. In this case, your definition of work-life balance is not measured by the hours of work. It is measured by output as well. Right? Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to that? So these are different definitions of work-life balance. If you are a leader, your responsibility is to acknowledge, based on their definition of work-life balance, how can I make the most out of this person? Kung ang kanyang preference, if your team member that you have recruited is from Generation X, you have to embrace the fact na magkaiba kayo ng definition. And at times, kahit anong pilit na gusto mong gawin, hindi mo pwedeng ipilit yan sa kanila especially when things are doing also well for them. Your way is not the only way. The other question you need to ask is, okay, if my definition is like the generation Y, his definition is like generation X, what can I do to make the most out of that definition of work-life balance, right? Another example again, may, may please get an exclamation mark if you can continue relating with what I'm trying to say. 
This is acknowledgement of diversity. Another definition. Are you mindful of your choice of words when referring to someone who is different? And may I remind you, in the time of COVID-19, may madalas na tayong mag-text. Madalas na tayo mag-email. Therefore, be careful of what you type because what you type can be screenshot and they can be proof that someone can share to another person. So be careful of your choice of words. For example, when you, someone says, Iba kasi kayo dito. Nung nasa company X ako before, ganito ang ginagawa namin. Dapat ganito. So when there are leaders who speak this type of language, These are leaders who create the concept of us versus others, right? And the more you polarize different members in your team. How about changing your choice of words and say something different? And I will share that later on. Another one, meron tayo mga leaders, ang kanilang definition, ang kanilang statement is, kapag boomer, hindi nila magigets yan because they don't use the app. Huwag mo sila isama sa meeting, right? Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to that? I'm sure some people can relate to that na guilty. Or some people will say, Nako, wag mong isama si Ana. She will not understand this new product because when we're brainstorming, hindi naman, niya tar- hindi naman siya can afford. Right? Wala siyang budget for that. Hindi niya ma-appreciate ang produkto mo. Right? These are typical choice of words that we need to be mindful of. So sometimes, you may want to be choosy you might want to use positivity in your words. For example, instead of saying, iba kasi kayo dito, say something like, how about we consider a different industry best practice? In other organizations, they use X, Y, and Z. Can we also consider that? Right. So you don't talk about us versus them. You talk about what can we do to up our standards according to what others are doing. Another one, instead of saying baby boomer or generation X, if you're coming from generation Y, say something like, How can we make the technology friendlier to all types of user? Can I get an exclamation mark? If you can also relate to that. And this time, I am not labeling you and generalizing that just because of your age, you no longer can adjust to new technologies. Or another one, don't label someone just because of their different in their socioeconomic class. Diversity and leadership is changing your words and saying something like, ibang target market si Lisa but we can ask her what her friends think about it. You're objective, you're neutral with your words, and you're basing it based on observable and objective facts, not because you are judging the person at the end of the day. This is when you take control of your biases. And again, huh? I'm saying this because mahirap itong ibahen overnight. We can't change ourselves overnight. You have to repeat and practice them over and over again. Finally, speaking of biases, when you recruit new people in your teams, paano ka ba mag-recruit? Paano mo pinipili kung sino yung gusto mo maging member? Do you practice what we call as culture fit? Or do you practice what we call as culture ad? Culture fit is the 1980s or 1990s way. It's when you say, he's the harmonizing type. Kapareho niya lahat ng mga kasama natin sa team. Gusto ko siyang kunin because he will blend in easily. And that's good. Culture fit is important because we want to work with people who are similar to us. But there is a problem kapag lahat kayo pare-pareho. Kapag nagkamali yung isa, pare-pareho din ang mga mali ninyo because pareho kayo lahat mag-isip. What you want is to also add what we call as culture ad. Culture ad is when you hire people because they have a different DNA that you do not have yet in your teams that can make you stronger. A skill na walang ibang member sa team mo ang meron. And you need that person because they can spill over that skill to everyone. So instead of saying harmonizing type, you also say, well, she's the challenging type. I like that. She's the type who can give us a fresher set of eyes about our products and services. This is the concept of culture ad. Can I get the letter A? If you have been practicing culture ad in your recruitment efforts when you're building your teams, I hope you are. Another one. We want people who work fast and always have a sense of urgency. That's good. But you cannot have people na lahat na lang halabira sa kanilang trabaho. Sometimes you might also want to add, we also need people who value what to prioritize and focus on. People who can pause once in a while and tell us, Teka lang, before we push the button, have we already considered X, Y, and Z? This is the power of culture ad. 
companies, organizations, friends, and barkadas don't just choose friends and people who are similar to them. Not all the time. You may also want to consider someone who's going to add something that you don't have in your DNA yet. This is the definition of culture add, right? So when recruiting people mostly in your teams, which do you consider mostly? Could you please type? Do a reflection. Letter A, culture fit. Letter B, culture add. Or letter C, both. There is no right or wrong. If you were to ask me, I would strike a good balance between both. Meron akong culture fit because you still need to have to have some harmony, but you also have some culture add. People from time to time who will challenge you, who will add something that you don't know yet, right? And remember, skill is priceless, especially if you cannot learn it overnight as well in this case. Very good. Thank you for answering that question. Let's proceed now. Let's give away a prize before we proceed to tip number two. Are you guys ready for the Boost Your Confidence ticket? Yes? Very good. So this is happening next week on a Saturday, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock p.m. And if you guys are ready, let's ask by sharing what the visual puzzle is. I want to remind everyone, you have to add us on our Viber community. That's the QR code and that is the link. For those who are, have not yet been members, and I see a lot of our USANA people are already members of our Viber community, here's how you can submit your answers. You have to click the three buttons on top. You have to click community information. And finally, you have to click the super admin. And then I get to see your responses. If you are ready, here is my question. Okay? The question is, find the missing number. Okay, lang yan. It's a visual puzzle. Okay. Find the missing number. Let's see if you guys got this right. Okay, wow. You guys are so fast. I have some responses now here. Some people are telling me, John, paano yung mga hin- walang uh, Viber? Well, I would urge you to get one because that's important. But to make it fair, let's give prizes for both who are in the Zoom chat box. We'll give away the two prizes in Zoom and three on Viber. So on Zoom, my winners, ladies and gentlemen, are Jennifer Cabral, Carlo and Evelyn Evangelio. And then from Viber, let's look at our winners. Bah. The first one, I have ang kanyang pangalan sa Viber ay The Grateful James. James, I need to know your surname maybe so we can call you out. The second one is Rhea Villanueva. Congratulations. And then my third one is Jidir Riki. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I will put an exclamation mark just so you know your name. G-D-I-R Riki. Congratulations. All right. So a lot of you got it correctly. The correct answer is 51. Fifth, I'm kidding. It's not 51. Of course, it's 26. Riki Henoso. Thank you for highlighting that. Number 26. We'll give away one more prize later on, so please stay tuned. Tip number two. Embrace that coaching isn't just about your way of learning. Remember, King Diba? My way is not the only way. It's also about their way. Great leaders find ways to improve how they coach, not just what they coach. What do I mean by this? Can I please challenge you? Could you please point to your Northwest without looking at Google search? Okay. If you know how to point to the Northwest, give me an exclamation mark. Okay, be honest. So dapat ang expectation ko, konti lang mag-exclamation mark ha? because a lot of us don't know how to pinpoint northeast, southwest. So I'm seeing some now in the chat box, but not as many. That's a good thing. I don't know where northwest is. The only reason why I know it is because I am facing that part of C5 going to south, so I know that that is the south part. But if I was closing my eyes, I would not have any idea. Why am I asking this? One of the most fascinating tribes that I learned in a documentary is this tribe called uh, Pormpurao in Australia. They have this specific language called Kuk Tayor. And here's the interesting part. They do not have words in their language for left and right. They don't. What they have is that they use instead North, South, East, West, North, East, South, West. So pag sinabi mo kanwari, oh, pare, sa ka pupunta today? Hindi niya pwedeng sabihin sa kaliwa, sa kanan, sa harapan. Ang sabihin niya, pare, pupunta ako sa northwest today. Pupunta ako sa southeast today. Can I get an exclamation mark if you find that fascinating? 
If that is the case, if you need to survive in this tribe, you need to have a sharper sense of direction. And they do compared to ordinary human beings. Are they different? Yes, they are, right? Does that make them inferior? Not necessarily. In fact, you can even say it makes them superior because they are like a living compass compared to many of us who need a gadget to know different locations. This is another example of cognitive diversity. People perceive their environment in a different way because they were raised differently by their parents and by their society. So my question now, when learning a new skill, which one works for you best? Right? Letter A, I learn best by reading a manual or listening to someone. Letter B, by watching videos or looking at an infographic. Letter C, I learn it by doing it myself, make a mistake, and then repeat. So halo-halo at ating mga sagot. May mga letter C, may mga letter B, and letter C. I, for me, I'm mostly letter B and letter C as well. I don't do well if I'm just listening because I don't get to visualize it because I'm both a visual learner and a kinesthetic learner. When coaching people, therefore, you have to acknowledge that people do not learn the same way as you do because they are different people. For example, some people are what we call as auditory learners. They learn via lectures, conversations, and podcasts. Some people are what they call as visual learners. I fall under this category. I need to see photos. I need to see videos. And when I project my information, I want to use slides because that's the best way for me to convey my ideas to other people. A third type of learner is what we call as the kinesthetic uh, uh, learner. Examples of that, learning by doing, learning by watching a demo. So kailangan, kailangan kung gawin muna. If the person needs to do that sales demo, he needs to learn by doing that specific spill, making a mistake all along, and being good because they turn better over time. Right? So if you see these types of different learning, you tell yourself, kung visual learner ka, it doesn't mean na when you teach your other participants, your recruits or your team members, and some of them are not visual learners, you don't just impose na lapat sila lahat visual. Sometimes you might want to adjust or sometimes you might want to put some variety. On certain days, you do visual. On certain days, you add auditory. You put a mix of different ways for them to learn. Can I get an exclamation mark if we're highlighting that? I want to highlight this because I think as a coach, and we, we can all relate to that, sometimes ang ating tendency, kapag hindi nagigets ng ating mga tao yung ating sinasabi, ang ating unang sabihin ay hindi kami magka-wavelength. Hindi niya kasing talino ang ibang members ng aking team, right? Mahina itong recruit na to. But have you ever asked yourself, mahina ba talaga siya? Is she really not intelligent? Or is, is it just because when you coach that person, you were coaching the person using a different learning approach that does not apply to her? Can I get an exclamation mark? Right? I learned this the hard way. When I was younger, I thought my way was the only way, Right? You have to use slides. You have to use PowerPoint presentations. Some people are different also, right? So when you present slides, don't just be good in the visuals. You have to be good and step up in your choice of words because that can be related to the auditory learners, right? When you're expecting someone to be good in sales, hindi lang siya gaganin because of the PowerPoint slides. You have to give them case simulations. You have to give them exercises. You have to give them hands-on activities, for them to learn what they need to learn. They are kinesthetic in this case as well. Your way is not the only way. This is the power of diversity leadership in this case. Last one, do you acknowledge that people have different preferences for communicating? What do I mean by that? Some people are straightforward. Some people are non-confrontational. Some people are verbal. They want to say it directly to your face. Some people are contextual, dinadaan sa body language. Some people are structured, my agenda, point A, point B, number one, number two. Some people, they go with the flow. And some people do better when they do that with their customers. Sometimes you have to embrace the fact that yes, while it's ideal to be structured, it's ideal to be verbal, it's ideal to be straightforward, you can't push this to your people overnight. And so sometimes, you may be the one to be at the higher position to adjust. What do I mean by that? 
if you are coaching a person, for example, who is non-confrontational, meaning paikot-ikot ang story, right? Hindi niya ma-conclude, ang dami mga pasatsat sa iba't ibang eskinita habang nag-uusap, right? Expect that when you are doing a brainstorming with this person, the decisions may not be done in the first meeting. Sometimes the decisions are made via emails or memorandum. If you notice, this is very typical for other nationalities as well. Another example, if the person is contextual, meaning body language magsalita, hindi directly sinasabi. Double down on researching about body language cues. Some people, kapag kausak mo sa harapan, when they say yes, what they actually mean is no. Some people, pati na mo, oh, okay ka lang ba? And they will smile. But at the back of their mind, they are not well. And so they will keep it to themselves. So you have to be the one who has a higher sense, a higher radar in understanding them. Third, if the person goes with the flow, don't take it personally if they don't follow the agenda. Some people don't follow, not because they want to irritate you, but because they've yet to learn that there is benefit to putting an agenda in a meeting. Right? This is one thing that I learned. It's ideal to be structured and to have an agenda in meeting. But whenever I meet some people, it's not because they want to make me feel bad. It's not because they're not res dis they're disrespecting me. It's because they've yet to meet someone who can teach them the benefit that there is value with structure. That is where you enter as a coach. That's where you end up converting them, that there is power, right, to putting structure in your meetings as well, right? Here's one last. If you can't succeed in negotiating with someone, could you please type, what is your next resort? Do you ask a friend to mediate? Do you blackmail the person? Do you give the person incentives? Or letter D, do you walk away? Could you please type in the chat box? Halo halong sagut natin, di ba? Ako sometimes I give incentives. Sometimes I will get a friend. Iba ibang situation eh. If that is the case, embrace diversity. There are different styles of doing it. So diversity leadership is anticipating that people transact differently, whether internally or with your customers. For example, you have people who cooperate, do not cooperate. You have people who are, kailangan may kasamang third party. At yung iba, gusto nila, kanya-kanya lang. So when you look at these kinds of people, and I will give examples from X-Men or from Marvel Cinematic Universe. Can I get a letter M if you're into Marvel? Like me, if you're a geek guy who loves superheroes and stuff, right? So for example, a person who wants to cooperate Without a third party, meaning kayong dalawa lang, falls under negotiation. Example of that is, uh, for example, some certain characters. Mediation, kailangan may third party, pero okay lang makipag-cooperate. Arbitration, kailangan may third party, pero kailangan tahasan because ayaw niyang mag-cooperate. Aba, kailangan mong pilitin by law. And then another one is persuasion. Kung talagang resistant siya, kailangan mong gumamit ng force. In this case, right? So examples of them, you got Professor X. He loves to negotiate and he loves to do it in the most peaceful manner. And then you have Cyclops. He always sees himself na kapag may nag right? Wolverine versus Gambit, right? Wolverine versus, so Wolverine na ng lagi, no? Whoever it is, he's the one who mediates because a mediation in his eyes is important. You call it arbitration if it's like the beast, right? Sa umpisa, he wants to cooperate, but when you try to irritate Beast, he is going to be forceful about it as well. And finally, of course, you have someone who does not want any dialogue at all. That is going to be no other than Wolverine in this case. Can I get an exclamation mark if you appreciate diversity? Right? Your goal is to study where your people fall into. Ideally, negotiation and mediation are good ways but if your people are under arbitration and persuasion, what do you do to teach them and to coach them later on, right? To become better sellers, to become better negotiators, okay? All good? Before we end the session with the last tip, tip number three, let's give away some prizes now. This is our last batch of prizes. Let's give away some eBooks, all three of them. I am going to choose three winners who are going to get all three books. And here is my question. Again, I'm gonna be collecting the responses via Viber. 
to make it more generous, isang winner ko kunin ko from the Zoom chat box. Okay? So my question is this. How many blocks are there on the screen? Could you please type? How many blocks? Three winners from Viber, one winner from the Zoom chat box. Let's see your responses here. Bah, halo, halo, ah. Let's see if I have some winners now. All right, my winner from the chat box of Zoom is Jona Christine Henobe. Congratulations. Winners, by the way, you have the QR code sa baba. Please take note. You have to scan that so you can claim your prize because we need to get your information. And then from our, uh, how do you call this, Viber, our winner, the first one is... Yung iba mali ang sagot, so di ko kayo matawag. Sorry, ah. The first one I have here... Yung iba pinapalitan ng sagot. <laughs> Ace Alcantara, congratulations. The second one, let's see, Philbert Lu. Philbert, gets ko na ang sagot mo ha, nakasampung siyam ka na dito sa chat box. <laughs> And then the third one, the name is, sorry guys, may mga maling sagot ha, I can't call you out. The name is Lay, L-E-Y, congratulations. I don't have your surname, but let me call you out at the same time. Congratulations. The correct answer is nine. There are nine blocks all together. Very good. Thank you. Let's give an exclamation mark to our winners. Winners of the Booster Confidence and winners of the books. Please do not forget, you have to scan the QR code right in front of you. Or alternatively, you can copy the link into your browser. That's bit.ly slash JYPrize. Thank you. Let's end the session now. Our dear gladiators in suits. And before I do that, I want to invite you some commercials lang. On May 25, next Tuesday, if you are up for some free learning, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday. We have a free webinar on my Facebook page. This is called Facebook Live Tips and Tricks for your online events and webinars. Might be very helpful for some of you who are into that. So please take a photo or a screenshot. It's for free and has no registration. You just need to go to our Facebook page displayed right in front of you. And there's one more. On May 27, Thursday, less text, more visuals. How to optimize your presentations. I'm also doing that session next week, May 27, and that is on Thursday, 5 to 6 p.m. If you miss it out, no worries. They are always recorded in the live and video section of our Facebook group. Okay, let's end with the last part. Great leaders don't just praise and reward they also customize how they do it. The key to winning your team's hearts is to speak their language of love, right? I am a big fan of this philosophy because I'm a big believer of it. The language of love is a theory posited by Gary Chapman in 1993. He has a best-selling book. Ang sabi niya, when we communicate our expression of love to people, we use five types. Physical touch, hugs and kisses, Acts of service, meaning making breakfast to someone. Acts of service, hinahatid sundu mo to the office because love na love mo siya, right? Words of affirmation. Some people are insecure if they do not hear the words, I love you. Time, meaning kahit gano'n ka busy, you find ways to spend time with them physically or virtually. And of course, gifts, right? This is the reason why one of the symbols when you be, are, how do they call this? When you're getting married, is a ring, a very expensive ring, for example. This, my dear friend, the language of love is not only confined in romantic relationship. It also exists in relationships at work, in corporate relationships, in business relationships. So may I ask, before we go to that part, could you please look at yourself, reflect, what is your preferred language of love? Number one, acts of service. Words of affirmation. If you have multiple ones, you can also type different numbers. So I'm seeing some five. I'm seeing some two. Sa akin, I am very sensitive to words of affirmation. Also with quality time. Because for someone who's very time poor, I appreciate when someone spends their time with me instead. Very good. So you have an idea about your language of love. If that is the case, there is also the five language of love between you and your teammates between you and your mentees, the people that you are coaching. So inspired by Gary Chapman's framework, here's how it works. So you have your acts of service. Acts of service meaning 
as you've requested, gusto mong ma- ma- more training, I am sending you to this two-day training to enhance your skills. Physical touch, it doesn't mean it has to be physical touch as in, kunyari, high five. In the time of COVID-19, virtual presence, meaning finding time to have a one-on-one discussion. Finding time, for example, to make those gestures that they are visible even if you cannot see them physically. Right? Another example, receiving gifts. So ito, give, given ito, right? So the idea of kahit quick gesture of giving them a cup of coffee on a certain day. Or in this case, how does Yusana express that? Through our incentives. The fact that some people, I'm excited for you guys because naiingit ako that you are, guys are going to Boracay. That's an example of receiving gifts. And finally, you also have your words of affirmation. John, grabe. Nakita ko yung presentation mo for our prospects. That was a great presentation. I can see how much you've prepared. Keep it up. You don't need to say it face-to-face. Finding the time to place it in a Viber chat box. Finding time to send an email and tell them how they're doing will be appreciated by these people. And of course, you have your quality time, right? Quality time meaning you don't just talk to them kapag may problema. You talk to them kahit walang problema because you're checking up on them. How are you doing? How's your family? How's your weekend? Right? These things will also be appreciated. So when you study your people, you ask yourself, si Miguel, si Anna, si Jonathan, si Michael, ano ang language of love nila? As a leader, do you find ways to customize how you reward them, how you talk to them, how you praise them, or even give them constructive feedback if they have points of improvement? Okay? So, can I please ask, look at your direct report. Sabi nyo kanina, meron kayong 10 tao, 20 team members, right? 30 people in your team. Could you please share? What do you think is the average, the typical language of love that they have? Is it touch, service? Could you please type the first letter? Acts of service, time, gift? Para sa akin, na for my experience, having coached a lot of companies that are involved in sales, of course, words of affirmation, very important yan, Right? Gifts are also important because incentives din yan eh. And also time. I noticed that time is also important. Right? Very good. Okay. Here's my last slide. Therefore, when people perform because they are motivated, right? Speaking of the language of love, you ask yourself, and I ask this also from the very start of my session, do you know where the motivation is coming from? Right? I hope kapag nag-recruit, uh, meeting kayo with the recruits, you ask the question, oh, Bakit mo pinili si Yusana? You have a lot of other opportunities. Why Yusana? Why in this business? Right? And I hope you get to internalize where they are coming from. Motivation is not single-minded. It is pluralistic. It comes from different types. We call it as desire. If the motivation is positive, meaning you're doing something because you're after an outcome. You're after a reward. It's intrinsic because you want it because it's internally deeply rooted in your values. You call it as the reward if it's positive, you want to get something out of it, but it's because coming from outside. You want to be rewarded because you want some praise, because you want people to give attention to you. Extrinsic ang motivation. We call it as fear if the motivation is negative. When I was younger, I wanted to become first honors in class because my parents told me, papaluin daw nila ako. Right? So I keep on joking to my parents that they were bad parents when I was younger. That is motivation, but that is called negative motivation. I want to do something because I want to avoid pain. I want to avoid something from happening. So kabalik taran ng positive motivation. It's also called threat. If you want to avoid something, but it's something that is going to be done to you by external forces. Kaya ang tawag dyan, extrinsic motivation. Right? Can I get an exclamation mark? Do you get to classify where your motivations fall into? I hope you do. Are you under desire? Are you under, by the way, there's no right or wrong, huh? Fear is still a good type of motivation in the short run. But in a lot of psychological studies, in the long run, kailangan desire ang sustainable. We are afraid when we speak in front of the public, we do better kapag kinakabahan tayo because we want to step up. But if you want to enjoy public speaking, it must not be because you're afraid of judgment. It must be because you are wanting to please people at the end of the day. That's called desire. 
in this case. So I'm looking at the chat box. Sabi ni Lindsay, desire and reward, desire and fear. That's a good combination, by the way. Desire also for others. So for example, again, in the Marvel Universe, you got Spider-Man. Great power comes with great responsibility. I want to become the superhero because I know how it feels when Uncle Ben died because I did not do something about it. And this time, I will change things for good, right? And then you have Iron Man. He is positively motivated, but by external reasons. I want to become the smartest, the richest, and the most popular superhero. And then you have Doctor Strange. Can I get the letter S if you can relate? He's driven by fear. He wanted to become a superhero because he was afraid na wala na siyang value as a person when he can no longer become a surgeon because he has lost his hands also at the same time. And finally, who do you think is in threat? Can you give me a, a core X-Men character? Right? Anyone? Who do you think falls under this? Beast, pwede rin, pero nagamit ko na siya kanina eh. Nagamit ko na rin si Wolverine. Right? Threat meaning, I want to do this because if I don't do it, uunahan ako ng ibang tao. Right? Sino si Metal Man? First time ko lang narinig yun, Gabza. Very good, Lawrence. I placed here Magneto. Right? Magneto is driven by human beings are the number one enemies of mutants. If we don't do something against them, uunahan nila tayo. So I am driven by threats. Destroy the humans or they will destroy us. I want to throw the same thing to all of us. When you look at your team members, right? Look at Sarah, look at Bobby, look at Anna, look at Luke, for example, whoever your team members are, which one falls for them? The more you know your motivations, the more you can remind them why they started this journey in the first place. Some people are motivated because they are in it because they want to give a good family life and love for their loved ones. Some people are motivated because they are challenged by the idea of having to sell products that change people's lives, right? Some people are motivated because they love the value of networking. Na every day, iba-ibang tao ang kinakakausap sa aking trabaho, right? Whatever those motivations are, this is part of diversity. Kailangan alam mo ang bawat motivation ng bawat tao. So when the time comes that they are at the verge of wanting to give up, you can remind them why they started the journey in the first place. Why can you do that? Because you knew their motivation when they started. This is the power of diversity leadership. Natawa ako bigla sa lipstick man ni James at ni Debbie. Thank you very much. And with that, here is my last quote. Speaking of diversity, speaking of being mindful of other people, please remember blowing out someone else's candle does not make yours burn any brighter. So if you have a very powerful flame, don't keep it to yourself. Please share that flame with others. And here's the, be the, the, the best part. Napansin mo ba? Kapag nilipat mo ang apoy ng iyong kandila, yung kandila mo buhay pa rin, and yet the room where you are in becomes even brighter. The impact becomes exponential to everyone. So that is your role. Leaders multiply the goodness of others. The sum is bigger than the parts on its own, right? And with that, can I get an exclamation mark if we learn something today about leadership and diversity, right? And acknowledging that differences are meant to be celebrated. They are not there to disrupt. I like what Sherry mentioned kanina, di ba? Breaking barriers, and if barriers, if that barrier is you being resistant, that your way is the only way, this is the time to shake up. Because as we've seen in a lot of organizational studies, the companies and the teams that are innovative, that are more resourceful and get through challenges, are companies who are able to get their solutions, not just from plan A. They have a plan B. They have a plan C. They have a plan D. Where do they get it? Kasi iba't ibang pag-iisip ang kanilang mga tao. Okay? And with that, thank you very much. I will give the floor back now to our audience. I wish you all the best. Congratulations for being an achiever. That is something that is very rare to say these days because not everyone has the privilege to become an achiever in challenging times. And for that alone, you guys are worth celebrating. Madaming salamat po. 
And I'll give the floor back now to our organizers. Thank you, John. Maraming salamat. Ang dami, ang dami mong um, insights no? and learnings this afternoon na for sure magagamit na ating mga associates not just in their businesses, right? But def, um, definitely when uh, in, in their family, in their fre- uh, uh, personal life, no? pwedeng-pwede nyo rin gamitin yung mga tips na binigay ni John. So, um, we hope that this is not the last time that we'll see you, John. No? Very, ano kami, talaga hook sa'yo. No? And so, you, you would want to really um, uh, be part of their trainings, their webinars. No? It's, uh, it's flash on your screen kung paano niyo siya makakontact. And please connect with him through social media. And hopefully, no, we'll see each other live um, in, the, in the coming months. <laughs> kung pwede na. Thank you so much, John. And... Um, Again, so we would want to congratulate each and every one of you. No? We have prepared uh, a short recognition. So I hope you stay with us um, until the end, no? hanggang matawag natin lahat ng ating mga um, associates that we will be recognizing this afternoon. So let me just share my screen. And please no, don't uh, hesitate to... Um, to type in your congratulatory messages dun sa ating mga associates that we will be recognizing this afternoon. So, we have, no, we have our associates who have earned 8,000 to 9,999 uh, 9, CBP group last year. So, Mitch and myself will be um, flashing this uh, names no, sa screen. So, congratulations everyone. You can uh, also take a screenshot. Yes, we have a lot of qualifiers here. So, uh, congratulations everyone sa lahat ng mga nag-qualify for our Gopher Group for Rakai. And syempre, di ba, hindi ma- din madali, no? Ma- ma- makuha yung 8,000 to 999 um, growth from last year. So, talagang congratulations everyone. And ang maganda dito si Smitch, no? hindi lang ni isang region ang nag-grow. Talagang lahat, no? from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, may kita mo talaga, no? well-represented ang ating Go for Grow. Nas- national level siya, so it doesn't have... At hindi rin siya, ano, si Joyce, hindi ibig sabihin nag-rank advance ka to gold, to a higher rank, or to ruby. As uh, low as, uh, as ano, kahit pa nag-rank advance ka to silver, mga ganun, right. there are also a lot of associates who really qualified for this group for group. Kahit pa nasa um, bronze, silver, and the record and not. So, pwedeng-pwedeng yeah. mag-qualify. Actually, si Smith, no, napansin ko, um, ang pinakamababalating rank is the rector. No? So, talagang, siyempre, nag-umpisa yan as uh, builder, terror, achiever, no, throughout the year. So, very um ano na rin yon yung kanyang um feet no para to hit the the rank of director and sabi mo nga okay sige sis oo sabi mo nga kanina no you don't need to really rank advance to the next level it's just doing better than what you did before no yung inyong performance so hindi naman kailangan na um talagang drastic yung leap natin no from a rank advancement some of them have gone to exec to being a goal director to executive goal. Yes. This is consistent. Consistent. Consistency. And uh, talaga naman ang, uh, ang goal natin every year is to uh, really grow our USANA business. Hindi natin gusto na kung ano yung um, income natin or yung organization natin last year, eh pareho din siya. No? Magiging pareho din siya this year. So, um, for you to be able to uh, to be a successful Yusana associate or business uh, uh, business person or uh, mga business uh, mga entrepreneur ng Yusana, you really have to grow and you really have to grow your business and qualifying for this trip is really uh, yung mark no na you really qualified and of course parang parang kahit pa ang growth ang ang growth ng business mo ang iyong uh, tina target you will also be rewarded no by Yusana. Now, because of the incentive, ng mga incentive trips, kahit pa locally lang. Yes, yeah, imagine, no? Sure. Kinita mo yung 999,000. 
uh, dollars, di ba? In one year. So, hindi lang siya sa travel talaga. It's really going for your income. Income talaga siya. Income talaga siya. Parang icing on the cake na lang yung travel. Yes. Ito, Dami sabi nga yung sharing kanina, no? Di ba, dapat pinagahandaan nyo na, lalo na yung mga gold directors natin dyan and above, no? Dapat pinagahandaan nyo na yung ating ates this, this year. Correct. Dapat doon na tayo mag-qualify. Kapag uh, katulad nga ng sinabi ni Ma'am Sherry kanina, if we have already qualified for the for the local incentive trip, dapat mag-level up tayo. Ang, bro, ang goal natin for this year is doon na sa Asia Pacific Growth Incentive Trip. Athens, Greece yun, guys. So, mas maganda kung uh, yun ang ginugol talaga natin. Right. Perfect. Ang ganda. Ang dami si Joyce. Napakadami talaga nag-qualify dito sa ating. And itong pinapakita natin, na, sunod-sunod to from lowest to highest. no So, from kumbaga 8,000 to 9,999. So, may kita niyo talaga kung sino dito yung mga nag-grow ng ano, na kumagkano. Yan. Yeah. And of course, yun naman sa mga hindi magta-travel, no? We, we really understand, syempre, um, meron kayo ibang preference. But um, really, di ba, if you have chance no, to be part of our travel incentive this year, please do so. Kasi iba talaga ang pa-travel ng new time. So, really yes. Experience. Okay, a once-in-a-lifetime experience nyo. At least kahit man lang at the early stage of your Yusana journey, makaka-experience maka -experience nyo na yung mga travel incentive ng ano, Yusana. May question sila, Joyce and Mitch. Tuloy daw ba? Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Yes, we will. We, we have announcement po mamaya. So, para dun sa mga reminders natin, no? Of course, syempre. So yeah, we are are with we are really ano um um getting a uh, medyo ano kami uh, binibilisan na namin yung pagkuha ng mga details niyo, de ba? So we are because we are really very excited. Congratulations! Sabi ang level one no, dami. Mm -hmm. May lang mga nag-aaralay na ng itlog kay Santa Clara. Matuloy lang daw ang trip. Hindi nga pakiba sa yung chat group, sis. Hindi ko naikilita. Ayan. Ayan, meron na mga nag-aaralay ng itlog kay Santa Clara para matuloy lang talaga ang trip. Pero syempre, di ba kasi naman, we are still on general community quarantine with Um, heightened restriction sa Manila, no? So, mm -hmm. sa NPR Plus. So, talagang hinihintay natin yung um, uh, announcement this uh, end of May. Malapit na next week na, no? But, uh, so far, no, um, we're still not postponing anything yet. Yes. So, ano pa yung mga nasips na po? Empathy na daw sila. Oo. Actually, nakaredy na nga po lahat ng mga regalo ninyo, kung alam nyo po yun. Oh. Ito, so, lahat ng mga magta-travel at hindi magta-travel, no? we will be giving away um, our um, giveaways no? para po sa lahat ng ating Go for Growth winners. Nakapack na siya para sa inyo lahat. Inisa-isa yan nila Joyce, nila ano, yung ating sales and marketing para talaga um, you will be receiving your gifts No, matuloy man o hindi ang ating Boracay trip. <laughs> Kaya make sure, no, tama yung contact information ninyo sa aming system. Tama din po yung address ninyo para, di ba, matama ako saan pupunta yung mga package na doon sa mga nag-cash payout, no, para mapunta po sa inyo yan. Doon naman po sa mga magta-travel, matikita nyo po siya sa Boracay na. Yes. Alright, so, we're all Uh, 75% no, ng ating mga top um, level 1. Yan, makakapag-impake na daw. And ready na ang mga beach party nito mga excited associates natin yung to go to Boracay. Yan, nagkakayat na. Kayat na ba kayo, guys? <laughs> <laughs> may kasamang may kasamang swimsuit from Yusana. <laughs> 
Yun ay wala. Wala kaming mga kinuhang balik, guys. <laughs> Mag-nutri meal na lang daw muna kayo ngayon hanggang sa trip natin sa Boracay. Ayan. Reset Oo. program, go! <laughs> Ang pinaka-importante talaga ay healthy kayo, no? Wala kayo masyadong uh, physical uh, na, in- na inunda. At saka, um, mag-isolate na po kayo, no? Ngayon pa lang. <laughs> Para negative yung RT-PCR. Kakaturo lang sa atin ni John, mga diversity, diversity of uh, body preferences, mga sizes. Yes. Yeah. Sa healthy, no? Yun ang ano natin. Kaya <laughs> ako healthy-healthy ako eh. Di ba, Ma'am Che? <laughs> <laughs> Oo. For the past, what, 19 years na bakit ang kakilala niyo? Oo, doon na lang tayo nagka. <laughs> Healthy-healthy nga. 15 years. 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, yung mga associates natin na grand advance na, nandito na sila, o. Oh. Mm. And, of course, number one sa ating level one, si Montaño D.T. Ayan. Congratulations to our level one winners. Oh, grabe, no? Ang dami. You will be enjoying uh, two nights stay, no? Sa Boracay. And, of course, your equivalent cash payout to sa mga nag-office for cash. Okay. And now, since we will be uh, announcing the level yeah. 2 winners. Okay, so here you are. Congratulations to our level 2 winners. Starting off with... Yeah. Wow, congratulations! So, iba mga bata pa yung picture ninyo, no? Ibig sabihin, hindi pa kayo nagpapasa ng bagong picture. <laughs> Aisa, I am cute. Hello, congratulations. Ang sarap panoore ng mga ano, ng mga winners, mga at least na, na nakikita na natin sila ngayon, na we visualize yeah. natin sila. Yung mga mga kasama natin, sa kayo mga bibigyan natin ng mga, yung mga nagqualify. Eto nagrang advance na rin siya. And that's our Twitter Diamond Director, Sito. Yes, ma'am. Kung kayo may hiya, no? Mag-ano, mag-grow pa ng 15,000 this year. Yung minimum yun, guys. Just check the hub kung, kung ano pa yung burn ninyo. Diba, nandun naman po sa ating tracker para sa ating attend free. So, makikita niyo po yan sa ating hub under contest and events and under um, Asia Pacific Road attend free. Ano daw yung room po ng level 3? Of course, yung mga level 3, meron tayo, sila yung highest growth natin, diba? So, sila yung nasa sea view, no? at saka kayo yung mga... Uh, may additional night, di ba, sa, sa Boracay. Kayo yung mauuna or mahuhuli nga aalis. Depende sa batch. Yes. Pwede nyo na po siyang i-google, no? Ano makitsura ng sea view ng ano, updated mm-hmm. siya talaga, di ba? Ng Shangri-La Boracay. Definitely, your growth is in Sana Philippines growth. Kaya just keep on growing, everyone. Dami na nga nag-rank advance dito sa mga okay. kapatid natin. Wow, sabi rin ni Gerard. No? Binalita na ni Gerard, El Iranon. May jacuzzi sa terrace ng room ng level 3 bongka. Wow! <laughs> Mukhang ginugel na na nga niya. <laughs> Si Joyce, nakapunta ka na, diba? Sa Sangre La Baraka. I haven't been there actually. Yes. Sobrang exclusive niya. Tsaka ang ganda ng mga pasipitis talaga. Yeah, Pero huwag kayo mag-room happy nga. Bawal yan kasi syempre health protocols, guys. Still pandemic. 
Oh, wala naman dito tayo, no? <laughs> Nag-violate ng mga ano, health health uh, pro- protocols. <laughs> Nag-diagnosing sa isang ano, sampo, no? Grabe. <laughs> Para ka namang ano yan, na mag-ubat pa siya na tayo niya. Hindi na mag-ubat. <laughs> sa Boracay nga lang. Diba? Check niyo daw sa YouTube. Sabi ni Glenn Rogasyon, dun daw siya, dun daw niya nakikita yung mga mga ano mga videos ng Shangri-La Boracay at ng mga rooms. Yes. And syempre no, iwasan niyo din maglalabas ng bora ng Shangri-La kasi sa loob pa lang, talagang marami naman na kayong magagawa and ma-explore no, the tourist or the city. At ayan na ating top 1 sa ating level 2 si Benita and I sa Amy Heston. Congratulations. Congratulations. Alright, and na. now, ito na yung mga piso na lang or 1 CDP away from the Sri Lanka uh, travel incentive pero wala pa rin talo, di ba? Because you are all uh, um, uh, experiencing the go for growth in Boracay. So, siguro si Switch, pwede natin itong i-announce, no? Para maiba lang yung level 3. Oo oh, naman. Levels. Okay, so let's start off with number... Um, or, New Ruby Director Dorothy Grace Peck. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ito, I'm level 3 winner. I- Iko ba to? Iko oh, si para Iko. Iko sa Busan. Asuke, congratulations. Congratulations to Doc Alpe. Alpe. Sa level 3 na rin. Yeah. And ang ating Executive Goal Director, yeah. Neil and Phoebe Gabutan. Congratulations! Yeah. And of course, sa ating Uruby, si Danielle Laza. Congratulations! Wow. Next, wow. Executive Goal Director, si Klein Bohol. See you in Boracay tonight. And Jebre, kasama din natin si Te Heidi Chubeta. Congratulations! Congratulations. Next, we have Zypert Barcelo. Ayan, congratulations, Zypert. We also have Michael Flores. Michael Ian Flores, congratulations. Yes, Michael. And we have Gerald and Dimples Iranon. Ayan, congratulations. congratulations. Our new executive goal. Yay! First, congratulations to Miss Claribel Joy Medina. Next, ayan, Yay! Peter and Ellen Tan. Congratulations. congratulations. Madai. Oh, sila, Ma'am, P- Ma'am Ellen and Sir Peter, no? Talagang ina-update niya tayo sa kanilang mga travel itinerary. <laughs> yes. And of course, meron tayo Executive Gold Che Abrera. Congratulations. congratulations congrats. And Eduardo Ma and Janeline Ma. Congratulations. Ayan, congratulations. Yes. Ito yung nanalo kanina si Ricky and Christine Joy Henrioso. Wow. Congratulations. Next is our Diamond Director. Ayan, Lawrence. Congrats, Lawrence. Congratulations. Congrats. We also have Eleni Veloso. Congratulations. Congratulations. Next, we have no level 3, Ali and Cherry Joy Santua. Ayan, congratulations. They are both new gold directors from Cagayan de Oro. And we also have Laurelin Liwag Sarceno. Congratulations. Congrats. 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 And Angel Beatriz M. Postigo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to Arlene and David Mercado. Level 3. Oh, and we also have Prince Christian Mianagua. Congratulations. That's Prince. We also have Rosemary Am. Congratulations. Yeah. Of course, we have Ace, Ace and Gabs Alcantara. Congratulations. Congratulations. Included in our winners are uh, is Liesel May Abelia Nida. Congratulations. 
And we have Michelle Lee Dikdikan and Ito Enyola. Congratulations. Congratulations, Michelle. And ang bagong kasal, Joven and Debbie Remoral or Base. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, bagong kasal ba si Debbie? Manimumun, <laughs> yeah. Last year. <laughs> And Maricel Matula, congratulations din sa inyo. Congratulations. We also have John Lester Bang Banga. Bob and Ian Ventura, and congratulations. congratulations. Ito si Jedfrey Tan. Congratulations, Hi. Jedfrey. Kami. Congratulations, Julbert, Arian, and Julian Alcala. Ayan. Yay. And of course, congratulations to Mel and Robin Tonghua. Wow. Wow. Harriet, no? Congratulations, wow, Harriet. Harriet. <laughs> heart. Na <-miss> wow. Wow. <laughs> yes, na ka namin, Heart. And we also have Rainier and Merino Ridao. Congratulations! Congrats! And we have Angela Janice Banyas. Congratulations! Congratulations! We also have Vincent and Jenny Bell Villas Gabales. Congratulations! Okay, ito naman. We have Pia Agata and Jeffrey Capulie. Congratulations! Congrats. We also have. Diane Garcia, our new gold director. Congratulations. Next, we have Girod and Grazel May Alejandre. Congratulations. And we also have our diamond director, ah, Levi De La Cruz. Yes, I'm going to show you how to grow our diamonds. You know? <laughs> yes, we have Rolando and Michelle. Well, Bison, congratulations to you, Bella. Wow. Thank you, Roman. We also have Romark Gonzalvo from Nagra. Wow. All right, Philbert Lu, congratulations. Level yes. 3. Congratulations. And of course, Eric Javier, congratulations. Hey. Meron pa. Yeah, we have Felipe and Janeline Dato. Congratulations. Congratulations. Daming na grow. And also our executive board directors, Edison and Dion Aura Maya. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. Next is Marie Aileen Brucal. Congratulations. From Cebu, Wilmer ah. Pilat Lopez and Mirna Gonzalez Lopez. Wilmer and Doc Mirna. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Next is we have Noel Joseph Nate. Congratulations. Congratulations. Na. Our level three, Jolita Maranan. Congratulations. And we have Cheps and Marlo, Marlo Villa Garcia. Congratulations. Villa Gracia. Yes, Villa Gracia. We also have Alanik and Avelina Yu. Congratulations. I can see them in the gold hadden. Eh? Na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Next, we have Francis John Marquez. Congratulations sa inyo. Yeah. And there you go. No? We have that the 12,499. All right. So at this point, um, Sis Mitch and Mom Cherry, no, and everyone, um, we will be having some announcements, no, about our travel incentive. Do sa mga hindi naman po uh, kasale, please stay tuned, kasi po meron tayong picture taking para ma ano natin, no, para ma document natin tung araw na to. So with our announcement, please welcome Marielle Perine. Teka, mukhang di na yata siya host. Alright, ayan. Okay na. So, um, Mom Joyce, please let me share my screen kasi may yeah, prepare ang slides para oh, sa ating prepare. mga... Visual, yes, ano siya, visual coach. 
Yes, yan. Oo, sabi ni John kanina. So, congratulations again everyone sa lahat ng nag-qualify for our Go for Growth, Boracay. And please, alam ko, excited na kayong lahat. Pero wag na wag niyo pong kalilimutan, of course, na isend yung mga details ninyo sa amin. So, ano ba yung mga i-email nyo? You have to email us your BPI or BDO bank account. Isa lang po kung alin yung meron kayo. So, this is for your PCR test subsidy. And of course, individual email addresses yung sa inyo and sa kumpanyo ninyo. Kailangan dalawang email address yung isend nyo sa amin. And lastly, your flight details. So, I know merong iba na nakaka-encounter sila ng problems or delay sa kanilang mga airlines because sa pag -re book nila. So, just let us know kung ano yung na-encounter nyo. But for those na meron ng flight details or kung hindi man mag-plane uh, going to Boracay, yung um, mga magroro or ano man yung mode of transportation nyo, let us know para um, mas schedule namin. And of course, meron kaming details ng arrival and departure ninyo sa Boracay. So again, your bank account, your email address, and the flight details. Kanino nyo po ito isi-send? So actually, nakareceive na kaya ng email coming from uh, Miss Michelle. And uh, dun sa mga um, hindi pa nagre-respond sa email, no? So you can directly email it to us. So for those associates residing in Luzon, so please email it to me, marielle.preli at yusanainc.com. For those residing in Visaya, so jace.nasete at yusanainc.com. And for those who are in Mindanao, so that is for ninadia.cordon at yusanainc.com. So again, um, please email us your details kasi yung deadline natin is on May 24, that is on Monday. So if ever may mga challenges kayo na encounter sa booking ninyo or anything, just let us know para naman we are updated or kung may changes man kayo para alam namin. No? So again, deadline is on Monday. So congratulations everyone and see you all in Boracay. And we're all very excited. Thank you, Marielle, no? Ayan, yung ating mga talagang nag-organize, no? Ng ating uh, trip. And again, si Smitch, no? Um, Siyempre, we are now still on uh, GCQ sa NCR+. Plus. But for the rest of the Philippines na hindi kasama doon, you are all um, MGCQ. Actually, pwedeng-pwede na kayo pong um, magpunta ng barakay. No? <laughs> Nalitay natin talaga itong last week na to, eh, Kasi di ba, end of May. No? And talagang mm -hmm. pagdasal natin lahat bumaba na ang COVID-19. Yes. Alright? Para makapag-travel na rin tayo lahat talaga. And uh, we'll see each other ng live sa Boracay very, very, very soon. Ayan. So magpo-photo off na tayo. Magpipicture na tayo si Joyce. Alright. So I have can you two batches. Please turn on your camera or video or camera. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Dalawang yeah. batch, no? Okay. So ready? Mm -hmm. Please uh, turn on. Ayan. Hintayin lang natin. May mga naka-off pa eh. Ayan, naka-on sila. Hello, guys. Hello. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, so etong first screen natin, pwede na nating i-shoot, no? Ready? One, two, three. And the wow, second wow. one. Okay, sige. May mga nakasara pa sa second screen eh. Ready? One, two, three. Keep growing, guys. Maraming salamat. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations, Thank you, everyone. And congratulations. Bye. Congrats. Bye-bye.